everybody and welcome to vlogmas day three oh my god it's already day three <laughs> Well, firstly, I did not do a very good job of taking off my eye makeup last night. I was pretty much falling asleep and I just got my like cotton wool pad with my eye makeup remover and just went. <laughs> so that's not good. Um, this morning, I am going to make myself some breakfast. I really, really want some yogurt. Yogurt, does anyone actually call it that? Yogurt? I want some yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> I like me some yogurt. I'm gonna use this yogurt. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, apple juice. Yes, then. I think a banana. And I also bought some apple and melon. Not melon, mango. I don't like melon. Um, I think that's all I want. Just a bit of fruit. I have no berries, which is most unlike me because I love berry fruit. I only have kind of yellow fruit. And some honey. Mm -hmm. Where is all the honey at? Guys, my tea collection is just getting ridiculous. Look at this. Companies keep sending me tea because they know how much I like tea. But like, it goes on back there as well. And then there's, this is the hot chocolate um, collection. But where is my honey? Oh, my mum brought me this fudge. Looks nice. I, think, oh, I just feel like we might have too much in these cupboards, to be honest with you. Right, I don't know where the honey is, and I need a wee. And for some reason, that's making me need a wee even more, is the fact that I don't know where it is, because I can't quickly grab it. Maybe it's in here, actually. Mm, Marmite? No. Oh, that's more of like the spices drawer cupboard. Oh no, I found the honey! And in doing so, also realised that I have three maple syrups in the cupboard. No one needs that much maple syrup. Ridiculous. Right, let's make this. Is it too now the same story? There we go, lots of fruit and there's yogurt and honey underneath and my fresh glass of apple juice. I'm gonna go and eat this now and watch some other people's vlogmases before I have to start my day. Still haven't done my makeup yet, but I've had a meeting this morning and now Carrie's here and we're trying to get, basically I wanna do a little photo shoot with Nala with all her cute Christmas outfits. So we've set up a little pet, um, a pet pedestal, a pet, <laughs> a pet studio, where we're going to attempt to take some photos. These are the outfits that I've picked. So oh, we've got cute. some Christmassy outfits. I just felt like I've got so many Christmassy outfits and I want to see her wearing them, let's be honest. So I thought this would be a nice little thing to put on the blog. Um, and you guys all love to see Nala in her different festive outfits. So we're gonna to attempt to do this. Are you ready? I feel like this is just gonna be, I mean, they do say never work with children and animals. We're gonna have, Give it a go. we're gonna have someone on the clicker and someone on the dog with food. Right, you ready, Missy? Are you ready? You're gonna get some treats if you're good? Well, she's being obedient at least and inquisitive. Okay, which one should we go for first? Christmas pudding. <laughs> yeah, let's do the Christmas. Let's do the Christmas pudding first. Look at outfit number one. Aren't you so cute? Oh, you're gonna go back up. Good girl. <laughs> Sit. We've got this down. Look at her. Oh, oh. 
bless you. She's like, please, I'm doing all the things. I'm doing all the things for all the treats. Oh, good girl. Every window was stuck, every lap was dressed, and the cool little bag in the back. Good girl. Nana! Oh my goodness, look at you! <laughs> <laughs> she like properly looked at the camera! which is an elf outfit um, <laughs> that I absolutely <laughs> love. <laughs> oh, gone. And all that remained was the hat. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I actually think this might be one of my favorite outfits that, that she's got. It's a little elf one. Last year she did have the same outfit, but it was really tiny and a viewer bought this one for her and it was really big. And I thought, I'm going to save that because I bet you next year it would fit her when the one she was wearing last year, I knew wouldn't fit her forever. So I kept it. And I'm so glad I did because it's so cute. Wait. Look at Carrie. Good girl. Wait. Oh, good girl. Aren't you so professional? You're hired. Look at the photos. See, Carrie specialises in dog photography because she has two dogs. They are the most difficult things to take pictures of. Nala, Nala, come here. She's just happy when there's treats. Yes, it's. I mean, at least this is really good for her training, isn't it? Good girl. Oh, but the Grinch, Mum. Oh, it's because the dog on the Grinch. Oh, that's why she's excited. So this was outfit number, th I have lost count. One, two, three, that was outfit number four. Santa's little helper. Oh, God, that made me jump. So now we're moving on to, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe just like a classic. Christmas coat. Oh, the Christmas coat. Yeah, we should put her in the Christmas coat. Nala, should we get a Christmas coat? Mm, yes. Show them your last outfit. She's looking for treats because we dropped a bag <laughs> of treats on the floor. Oh look, because I said show them your last outfit. She jumped up on here. Aren't oh, you so good? Guys, look how cool this is. This arrived in the post for me this morning and it's a book by Raymond Briggs um, called Notes from the Sofa. Um, from the beloved best-selling author of The Snowman and Other Children's Classics comes the first new book in a decade. Old age is another country. I was just like, that's so cool. I absolutely love Raymond Briggs. Um, I love all his stories, although most of them are quite sad, Raymond. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, I used to listen to them all on tape when I was younger. Um, let's see. It's a beautifully illustrated compilation of reflections on life and what it means to get older. Raymond Briggs dips into his past to remind us of sc scrumping apples, national service, party lines on telephones, the torment of cinema organs and the endless obsession with laxatives, but also gives us warm and memorable sketches of his life now as he enters his ninth decade. Oh, this is so sweet. And look, this is what I saw earlier. I was like, oh my goodness, it's signed by him. I just think that's so cool because he's just amazing. So yeah, how lovely is that? It came from uh, the place where my books get published and printed. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I'm actually really excited to read this. I think it will be really good. I also think my grandparents would really enjoy this and maybe even my parents. Although I feel like it's the sort of thing that if you give to a parent, they might be like, uh, what are you suggesting? <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought that was worth showing you guys because I thought it was really cool. We managed to get some really cute shots of her. She was being the perfect model, um, and then she went off and had a little sleep. If you're wondering why I have this on, it's because I'm so cold. I don't know why it's gone so cold in my house. It just feels really cold in here today. So I've put on my little Christmas slippers, and I've put my dressing gown on because I can't cope with the cold. I'm also so spotty, I knew this would happen. 
I've been like spot free for like a month and then the minute I start vlogmas it's like boom and it's all around my mouth I feel really quite self-conscious about it, which I don't normally with spots. I'm kind of like, oh, it's a spot. Everyone gets spots. It doesn't matter. But for some reason, I just feel really self-conscious about it being around my mouth. Not self-conscious enough that I wouldn't just vlog because, I mean, let's be honest, it's just a spot. But it is like a little bit kind of, ooh. Um, I'm just making myself some lunch and I've just edited yesterday's vlog. I talk too much, guys. I was like, how is this vlog so long again? I didn't do anything yesterday, but it's because I just talk so much. I'm such a rambler, which you obviously all know anyway, but my goodness, I need to shut up sometimes. Look at this puppy. <laughs> is it hard work being a model? Are you so worn out now? She's so cute. This pen was honestly like the best thing we've ever bought. She absolutely loves it. She never goes into her crate anymore. I mean, she's got, she's got enough selection of beds there, but she actually just chooses to go in and just be in there. So if any of you have a small dog, or I mean, if you have a slightly bigger dog, you can get bigger pens, but we use this when we go out. So we can put her water in there. We can put her bed in there. We can put a couple of toys in there. And I think, I genuinely think she just loves it. Like, it's like her little bedroom. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy I got that. And it also just means that if we're doing things around the house and we just want her to be somewhere safe that we know she's not gonna cause any trouble or get herself into any messes, then we can put her in there and she's really happy to just be in there. So massive thumbs up for the pen. I found this little uh, like Polaroid of me and Alfie on Christmas morning 2013. Look at us. Look at Elvis Presley behind me as well on a stocking. Alfie looks so different. I honestly think I look the exact same, but I think Alfie looks really different. I didn't ever keep those pajamas. I'm kind of annoyed at myself. We all had matching PJs, which is a tradition that we will be keeping up this year. But how cute is that? So cute. We should take another one this year and compare them, see how much we've changed. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Na, 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 na. I'm just obsessed with the Christmas tree. I just think it looks so pretty. I can't stop filming it, sorry guys. I've just put my day three of 24 days of Zoella Live, which is a Christmas haul. We all knew there was gonna be one of those because I love hauls, I love shopping, and I love Christmas, so it was bound to happen at some point. I will leave a link to it in the description box of this video. Now, what I want to do, actually, is open these beauty advent calendars, otherwise I'm never gonna get around to doing it, and I really, really want to because they look amazing. It's been a bit of a kind of chilled at home video today. I'm basically trying to do as much editing and blog post writing and um, just kind of tying bits up really that I can now before, before Christmas, before December starts getting a lot busier. Um, so that's what I've been doing today, pretty much. It's not gonna be like this every day, although to be fair, I actually really enjoy watching people's vlogs where they're just chilling at home. But in the meantime, I actually, I can't get over how Christmassy my house is, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I need to do, I need to put the new bedding on the sheets. Oh, that's not quite dry, oh. I hate that. When something's not quite dry, I've put my other one in the, oh, look at that, one minute remaining. What great timing. Um, I've put my actual bed sheet in the tumble dryer. So hopefully that is nice and dry. Oh, <laughs> this is a great angle. Great angle. I can't turn off, <laughs> can't turn off the camera. Do you want your dinner? Right, we wait, don't we? Wait. Good girl. Good girl, wait. Good girl. And there you go. Good girl. Oh, we have to do that because she has to learn manners. But also, um, if she's around other dogs while they're eating, etc., etc., she I don't know, she just has to learn that she can only eat when we say so. Much like me and Alfie. Alfie can only eat when I say so. I'm joking. 
<laughs> I do think this is now done though because it just played a little tune. Yes! This looks hot. Holy mackerel! Let's put all this on the bed and make my bed perfect and cosy. Like there's honestly nothing better than getting into a bed that's um, got fresh sheets on it. So let's do that. Oh! <laughs> Wrong one. There we go. Oh no. Mm, what, what am I doing? Okay, clearly the lights don't work. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I feel like I should be going to bed. As soon as the lights. Okay, it's dark now. As soon as the lights go off, I feel like I should be going to bed, but what am I doing with these lights? <laughs> the fun things we get to do in Vlogmas. Actually, if I'm singing it right, it's this is what dreams are made of. Look at it. I am so excited to get into this later. Yeah, buddy. Oh my goodness, puppy. I just love you. Why have you got a Zoella makeup bag next to you? Is that yours? Has it got all your essentials in it? <laughs> right now I am typing up my body shop blog post. Here he is. Oh, there we go. Just typing that up. Oh, and on the TV is the film Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, which I used to be obsessed with. I actually think I went to see it in the cinema with a friend of mine like years ago. I don't even know how old this film is, but it's just the best thing ever. I've been watching this um, whilst looking through your comments on my vlog. Glad you're all enjoying it still. And then writing this up and then we can do the calendar, the advent calendars, because I haven't done them today yet. What's happening, Nala? What's happening? <laughs> nom nom nom, nom nom nom. Which one of these is your favorite? I've been munching whispers because I swear these never used to be in this box. I think this is new for this year, but whispers are my absolute favorite. So I am really happy <laughs> with this box of chocolate right now. You're lying together. <laughs> You're gonna look after Percy. Oh, gonna look after um. <laughs> What's he doing, Nala? What's Percy doing? Is he on your bed? We're having a family picnic. Oh, look at the boys watching telly. Oh my god, guys. I just love guinea pigs' mouths when they eat. Look at this. It's like they've got the cutest little chops. Oh, you can't really see. There we go. <laughs> Look at their little mouths. Is that not the best thing you've seen ever? You all right as well, Pip? I want you to all sit together. We should have put them in with your photo shoot, but that would have been pretty impossible. 
day three. <gasps> oh, Nala, look, two biscuits today. <gasps> Ooh, these are two flower shaped treats made with beef, liver, fresh carrots, black strap molasses and alfalfa to help keep your dog's coat as shiny as a Christmas bauble. Oh, don't eat it, Percy. Why must you eat everything? I just wanted to record your cute noises. Look at them, watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. <laughs> Okay, let's open these. Guinea pigs have gone. Nala's like, oh, where they go? <gasps> right. I already opened a couple of these to take photos of them for the blog. So, I don't know which ones I've already seen inside. Number one, open the door to reveal magical drops that will help you achieve shiny, beautiful looks. <gasps> Ooh, Moroccan oil. Oh, it's a really good travel size too. This stuff's expensive. That's really good for day one. Day two, looks like I might have opened this one. <laughs> oh. Lord and Berry. I think this is either an eyeliner or a lip gloss. Yeah, lip gloss. Nice. And then number three is here. Ooh, Glam Glow, another quite pricey brand there. So this is, oh, if it wants to focus. Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I could really do with that right now. <laughs> so that one is Look Fantastic. Very impressed with those. Let's go on to the Liberty one. I don't know, do we just go one, two, three? Maybe, okay. Ooh, Aromatherapy Associates De-Stress Muscle Gel. Pop him up there. <laughs> this one is, ooh, this looks cool. This is Oi Absolute Beautifying Potion with Roku Oil, all kinds of hair. But that looks good, excited to try that. Ooh, whoops, <laughs> it's bound to happen at some point. Let's pop that back in. Right, so this is Dr. Sibar, Sibar? Um, Serum Repair Hyaluronic Acid Skin Moisturizing Revitalizing Serum. This looks good. Let's open that. Well, these doors look like they've been tampered with, don't they? I don't even know what that one was. Okay, number one. Maybe that was number one. Must have been. Oh no, there's number one. Oh, these doors are, these ones are invented for you to pull off. Nukes Mask Creme Fresh, 24 hour soothing and rehydrating fresh mask. Amazing. Number two is down here. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, there we go. Molten brown. What does this say? Frankincense and allspice. Oh, I bet that's lovely for this time of year. How exciting. Number three. Uh, here. Oh, I've not opened this one. Ooh, cow shed hand cream. Again, a really lovely size. Oh look, an extra gift from us. Enjoy five pounds off your next order. Ah. Enter five for you at checkout. I wonder if you're all gonna do that now. <laughs> 
Okay guys, I am going to get in this bath, which I've just run, but I thought I would just quickly show you which bath bomb I'm going to use. This one's called Yoga, I think it's called Yoga Bomb or something, um, and it's meant to be nice and relaxing. Or do I want to put an oil in? No, this one, okay. In it goes. I also use the last little bit of the magic wand. Ooh, it's like fizzing already from bubbles. <laughs> There we go. This one smells really, really good. And then I'm gonna do this face mask. It's by a brand called Adore, um, and it's called Golden Touch 24K Magnetic Facial Mask. I don't actually know too much about this because it got sent to my PO box recently and I've only used it once before, but it was really cool, so I just thought I would do it again. Guys, I just wanted to show you this little play suit because I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's got little Father Christmases on. Ignore the mess in this room, by the way. It's from Wild Fox, so it's not like the cheapest PJ set, but when I saw it, I was like, this looks so cute. It's kind of like perfect bedtime because I get cold on top, but I get quite warm like on my legs. But yes, my bath was so lovely, and then I just got out and put this on and just thought I'd show you because I really, really like it. I also just watched The Secret Life of a Six-Year-Old, and it's honestly like the best program ever. I am obsessed with it. They had The Secret Life of a Four-Year-Old, and I think they did The Secret Life of a Five-Year-Old, and I've just watched the six-year-old one. It's just so cute if you haven't seen it you have to check it out i think it's channel four and then i think i'm just gonna go to bed i do need to still edit um a couple of videos for my main channel um and i've got little nala on the bed with me i put my heated sheet on before i got in the bed so it was all nice and toasty and i've got my full glass of apple juice and a rollo yogurt a little cheeky rollo yogurt um, but I've had a really, really lovely, chilled evening. Um, and bath was really nice. But I actually was thinking, I just feel I feel kind of lonely with Alfie not here. Like, a lot of the times, I am, and I am busy, but a lot of times, I kind of just think, oh, well, he'll be back in a couple of days, and I've got lots of things I need to do anyway, and it just kind of goes really quickly. Like, I'm quite good at not being lonely. Um, but I actually do feel a little bit lonely. Oh well, not long till he's back and I do have a lot to do so to be fair he's only going to be a distraction. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up if you did, let me know in the comments your favourite part from today. I love you very very much and I really do mean that and I will see you again tomorrow, bye! I mean my hair's up right now but you get the idea. <laughs> the woman was like... Oh, well, I hope you have a good party. How awkward <laughs> would it be if you weren't actually? I mean, I wasn't. I wanted the 10 bags of crisps.